when I realized the damage that I was doing, and I was doing a great deal of damage by equating Islam with Christianity. First of all, it is false. We were talking about truth and falsehood, and not all religions are the same. Religions are different because they, are, they come out of different cultures and grow out of uh, different contexts. So Christianity is not the same as Islam, and I'm guilty of having said, well, all faiths, all perceptions of God are the same, and they're equally damaging. Um, so I come back from that, and I also ca have come to regret um, the damage that I've done, and I want to see, I want to make my friends like Richard and Sam Harris and uh, Daniel Dennett and all the others, um, I, I, I want you to see uh, what I see. And what I see is where you have a moral vacuum, something is going to fill it. I want you to see that the teachings of Christianity, just like you said, if there is a competition between Team Christian and Team Islam, you would be on Team Christian. That what you value in Christianity is something that really is absolutely necessary to pass on to the next generation. And we have failed the next generation by taking away from them that moral framework and telling them it's nonsense and false, but also not protecting them then from the external forces that come in for their hearts, their minds, and their souls. I think you're wrong to say. I think that you're wrong to, dif to, to differentiate Christianity from Islam in that sense. I mean, they, 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 they all, these Ab Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and, and Islam, they, they, shed, they have the same holy book. They believe in hell. They believe in a dictatorial God. Um, they believe in so much that's similar. Uh, the problem with Islam is that, is that it's 700 years out of date. And, and, and Christianity has, has moved on to object, Freddie, to uh, Richard, the statement you made about uh, the holy books of Christianity and Islam being the same is absolutely untrue. And in fact, maybe a follow-up to this discussion would be to actually read these books to see what's in them and how different they are. And another mega, mega difference is the, the, um, the characters of Jesus and the characters of Muhammad. Are absolutely radically different. I totally agree with that. Yeah, yeah, but that and that is why the holy books are not the same. The yeah. story is absolutely not the same. They are different. Um, um, and yes, each one of them makes a claim to uh, being an Abrahamic religion. Um, and, and there, I do have to do a little bit of reading up on Abraham. I have to do a little bit of reading on the Old Testament. But as far as I can tell now, from where I am in the New Testament, it couldn't be more different from, yeah. from yes. the Quran. Well, okay. um Dawkins, as is typical, provides a very reductionist view of the faith, and people interacting with his reductionist views often come to Christianity after witnessing it, right? We have a number of those testimonies on my channel. If you read the Old and New Testament, you're going to find a continuous message. Prophets in the Old Testament proclaiming a coming Christ, as in Isaiah 9 or Isaiah 53. And if you do some digging, you find that there are hundreds of messianic prophecies throughout the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we have the gospel of Jesus Christ, that he atoned for our sins against God if we accept the gift of salvation. A punishment for our errors must be paid through our own actions, through our own attempts at holiness, through our own good works, none of us are good and are heaven. No one is good but God. Only through the blood of the Son of God and by accepting the gift of salvation can His goodness become ours. Our filthy rags are cast off and we put on the righteousness of Christ. However, to approach heaven in the Quran, you have a works or duties or a checklist based system. It's a nightmare. This is how all world religions have, have typically worked. All human invented religions have a checklist, a checklist of, of a, a number of different things we must do uh, to be holy, to be enlightened. The Quran is the writings of one man, while the writings of the Old and New Testament are the writings of dozens of men written over the course of over a thousand years with one unified message. 
Either Jesus rose from the dead or he didn't. To say that the messages which contradict each other are ultimately the same message is again incredibly reductionist. The full debate is over an hour long. I've watched portions of it. I'd recommend it. Christ is king. Every knee will bow. Absolutely.